All right, good to know. Thank you, Leslie. And we're waking up this morning. It is a bit milder, meaning the temperatures are a bit warmer today because our cold front is on the way. So before a cold front gets here, we usually warm up a little bit. We see our moisture return, and that's exactly what we're seeing. Also seeing for the first time this month, a little bit of rain on radar. We've got some showers down in lower Lafouche, uh, some showers extending up into, I guess, upper Lafouche as well and over towards St. James parishes, but not a whole lot. But don't be surprised if you see a little passing shower this morning. Across the area. It doesn't look like it's going to amount to much, though. Here's our first cold front. This line of storms is headed our way, but it's not going to be that intense or that impressive once it gets here. It's continuously weakening as it heads in our direction, and we're just expecting a few showers to be left over from that once it does get here, which will be late morning and into the early afternoon. So from 10 a.m. to around 3 p.m. will be our time frame to see some of those showers from that front. We already have some showers though ahead of the front across the area. So your chance of rain, it'll be highest later on this uh, morning and afternoon, about a 40% chance. It doesn't look like a big deal. Doesn't look like severe weather. It doesn't look like flooding, but maybe a shower or two. And yes, it is going to be a warm, humid day before that front gets here. We'll get into the low 80s, which is um, well above our average high of the low 70s. So let me walk you through it here. This is uh, this morning. We got a few of those light showers, not a big deal. Here comes that line of showers, but look at it really weakening as it moves into our area. North shore by 10 a.m. South shore will be closer to lunchtime and then we might see a few of those lingering showers through the early afternoon closer to sunset. A lot of this starts to move out into the Gulf and then we got a north wind slightly cooler air, but not a ton of cold air. So this first cold front is not really going to cool us down all that much. We're going to be in the mid 70s tomorrow and drier, but still mild. Second front moves through Saturday. Uh, late Friday into Saturday morning and Saturday we'll struggle to get out of the 50s and it will be windy on Saturday and then we gradually warm up into next week. So the coldest morning in the next seven days is going to be Sunday morning. If you live on the North Shore and you have tropical plants or sensitive vegetation, you need to start thinking about your first frost. It looks like we could have our first frost Sunday morning as temperatures drop into the mid 30s for a lot of areas. So that will be enough to get some patchy frost, I think. Now, south of the lake, we'll stay in the low to mid 40s, but could see some upper 30s creep down towards Thibodeau. I don't think we'll see a frost down in the Bayou Parishes, though, but North Shore has a better chance. Just keep in mind, people, pets, and your plants. Of course, you don't have to worry about your pipes. That's more like the mid 20s when you start to worry about your pipes. So we're getting to that time of year where, yes, we are getting into our first frost, and then eventually we'll get into our first freezes. So there's your seven day forecast warm today with a few showers for your Veterans Day. Tomorrow will be pretty nice, sunny and mild Saturday, cool and breezy. It's going to be windy and cold for the LSU game that evening and then staying nice and sunny all the way through the middle of next week.